Gary, um, Gary was uh, probably the most important drummer in the New York recording scene in the period. Um, he said there would be like a limo waiting out in front of the studio to take him to the next studio. They, it would be like that. He's on everything. I don't know if you know his his track record, but he's like, like you just go down the list, just locomotion to like I'm a believer to Brown Eyed Girl to In the Still Tonight to Mr. Bassman to to you know uh, um, the Shirelles who I work with now. Uh, Will you still love me tomorrow? It's just like it's kind. Of, uh, he was man. He was Burt Bacharach's drummer. Wow! Like all the he's Burt Bacharach. They they they're making they made a documentary about Gary that's going to come out. Burt Bacharach on tape said the session. Picture this: the session didn't happen if Gary wasn't available. It's kind of heavy, you know. Yeah. So he he what happened was the what the way he explained it to me, which which was that whenever he had a challenging part that he had to work out, he kind of like wrote it down and had little slips of paper and he kind of put shoved them in a shoebox or in the closet and years later tried to figure out how to how to make a method out of it but he was a great teacher he was a great drummer um uh b- very influential he taught he taught dave weckl he taught joe rosenblatt he taught kenny aronoff he taught danny gottlieb he taught max uh, weinberg uh tico torres is really into him van romaine uh you just go, it's like everybody in a certain time period that was in new york you know, went and took lessons with Gary. 